This is the tray here that opens up and yeah. just push it in. That's right. Oh, that's a good I'm just looking for, actually, 
so that would be, I mean, I really you won't have to like do anything but it was auto books what? Tylenol you got your Tylenol uh, it's at the table oh, it's at the table it's at the table you have a shot oh, oh, no, no, Kevin's asking for oh yeah it's in that little black it's in the black bag at the table oh it's warm up here hey Kevin Megan has it
Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. We are here from Mountain oh. High School in Edwards, Colorado. It's your Steamboat Sailor Boys the cross team the taking the ball. Great matchup for Steamboat. Steamboat. Coming in 8 3 overall, 7 0 in league play. And the Huskies 4 5 overall, 3 2 in league play. Like I was talking to, uh, well, I guess you didn't hear that one. We had some technical issues, but I was chatting with uh, Brian Harvey before and a big resounding thing is we're into the second half of the schedule here. So we're facing off against those league opponents for the second time. It's really a big thing for Steamboat to get some wins and continue to roll along the Western Slope. They're going to try and make a run at this league title, which, you know, it all starts today. Battle Mountain, the team that the Sailors were able to handle in the first game pretty well, uh, but they are going to be a few guys down here today due to some injuries, and so that's always going to make it a little bit tougher. With the psyche of these high school boys, remember that's that's all they are, high school boys. So you got to give them a little bit of whatever you have to give them, I suppose. Want well, to thank Yampa Valley Bank. Yampa Valley is only locally owned bank member FDIC. Also, I'm a member of the employee owned and choice. And I'm on friend. Sailors are donning their away red uniforms, white number, red trim on gray shorts, and they are left to right on KTYV 105.7 here in the first quarter of play. Griffin Malfi is going to be that uh, starting netminder for the Steamboat Sailors. Memory serves, I think it was a 13 to 5 win last time these guys were playing Battle Mountain. Again, that was at Gardner Field. It was a little bit more of a full squad for Steamboat today, though. They're going to be coming out. They'll have Epstein and Kaminsky on the flanks and Craig Dillingham taking the opening face off. And we're just about underway. Come on, Dilly! Come on, Dilly, Dilly! Dillingham in a big circle now. Pushes it forward. It's going to be scooped up, and the Sailors will have the first possession here of the afternoon. He's going to trot towards the box. He gains that, and will slow it down, firing it down to McNamara. Now into X, he finds Hofer. Hofer is going to stop, coming back out to his near side, GLE. Hofer now up top, finding Jackson Lynch. New Sailors with this first possession working around the perimeter. They're going to fire to the far side, finds Gilbertson. And the pass to Gilbertson, or from Gilbertson, sorry, finds McNamara in the X. Fakes one outside, gives it to Ben Hofer near side. Nice little pass in there and a shot from Quinn Keith just off the mark. And a big save there. That's what Ben. The, uh, grabbing the leg, it looks like that amount of goal. He did, in fact, get the lane. Connor Underwood, the net miner here for this Husky team. Jesus. Two names. To Sailors with it again. Yes. Yeah. Jackson Lynch yeah. goes down to Ryan McNamara. Oh, match! <laughs> 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 Ryan McNamara goes down to Ryan McNamara. Ryan McNamara goes down to Ryan McNamara. Ryan McNamara goes down to Ryan McNamara. Shot ends up going wide. Yeah. Chase down. Yeah. Yeah. And it is the yeah. 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 Rob. That's my brother's name for Bob. And the inbound pass comes. Your Sailors with possession again. As they were able to maintain. 10.45 to go here in the first quarter. Still scoreless. KT on a view, 105.7, we're all mine as well. It's seen what Radio Talk is on. Lynch now. Looks down the way side of the box, finds McAmeer there to the left hand. Brian McAmeer for the second top of Lynch. Lynch across the box to Gilbertson. Has a shooting lane, doesn't take it. Fires down to X. Nice little pass out front. Shot! That one just off the pipe. Rebound. And McAmeer just gets denied. Underwood got across to make the big save there for this Battle Mountain squad. And the Huskies able to chase it down. So a, a pair of really big saves here for Connor Underwood. But then Aaron Pass turns into a steamboat possession here. As whistles blow. 10 12 to go here in the first quarter of play. And the Sailors will take this in. And now some extra whistles. Battle Mountain coach trying to figure out what, uh, what happened. As am I, but I usually am. Corner slice, proud supporter of the Sailors Athletics. You can celebrate the Sailors. Red Bull! With good food, fun, and friends in Old Town Square, downtown Steamboat. Plus Mountain View Car Wash off the Sailors Green Competition between Town and McDonald's on Highway 40. After the uh, referees' conference, it is going to be Battle Mountain Ball. I don't know what that was that brought that back, but uh, the Huskies will have this one perhaps. This was a little premature from all the officials, not 100% certain. Kalman has it. That may have certainly been progressed along the attacking side here as they have their first goal of offense. And then running down low with it is Bellier. Bellier out front. And 
and another shooting lane that was cut off by Colombo, who jumped out quickly. Nice slide. Now a chance near side and a tight angle. Stopped by Malpe. It's not from Griffin. Malpe rebound scooped out just wide of the goal frame. And it's going to be pursued and eventually scooped up by Yonka. Good reversal there from Sean Yonka. Passes to Griffin. Malpe and her sailors once again possess long outlet pass in and out of the pocket of Quinn Keith. Loose ball now scooped up by Battle Mountain. And teams go both, or end to end, sorry. Nice now another ground ball this time from Battle Mountain. Scooped up by Frank Becker and your Sailors have it once again. Ben Hofer throws that midfield line. He's going to move forward with it. Nice pass. Shovels a nice little pass off to Jackson Lynch. And the Sailors will set things up offensively. It was 9.03 to go in the first quarter. Still scoreless. They are on five seven. Worked up top to Tyler Doyne. Doyne goes down to GLE, finding McNamara there. He fires into X, picking on a nice little pass with, I believe that was Gilbertson. Now out front, shot from Lynch, hit defenders, pushed forward, scooped up by a Battle Mountain player. The Huskies wearing their white uniforms with some silver numbers, and gold, or gold numbers, sorry, silver trim. And here comes Battle Mountain, quick out of the feed. That one is a fair pass over the head of the intended target, and it'll become a Steamboat Sailors ball. This is going to be scooped up by Yonka on the end line. He will take it in for Steamboat. Do you want to thank Russell's Auto Salon, your premier full service auto body shop? We always meet by accident. Call Russell's at 879 15 15. Big uh, run over there from Tyler Dolan. Whistle blows. Might be a warding call. And so Battle Mountain will have it once again. Huskies trying to advance here with 8.20 left in the first quarter. Teams trading chances, but neither able to come up with first goal of the game so far. Colombo now battling for it as it's on the ground. Scooped up by an attacking player there from the Huskies, and they'll work around the perimeter near side. They pass up top now. It is going to be given that direction into the stick of Baker Gentry. Gentry goes across the top of the box, finding the stick of Boyne. And Tom Boyne now makes a run. Passes off a little cycle play. Oh, nice. That goes in and out of the pocket. Scooped up by Matt Kemper out of the air. And he's going to take this one upfield for the Sailors. Matt Kemper is now. Nice little stutter step. He gets free. End of the box. A chance with numbers upfield. He goes back now to a pass to Ben Hofer. Hofer down to GLE near side. Finds McNamara. Back to Hofer again. Around the corner, he's going to have Will Eck. Eck now at the top of the box near side. Fires one across that box. Uh, so we've got ourselves. Battle Mountain at the other end. I'm not sure what that was was for. Say there's a game in the box. It wasn't, uh, I'm not sure. Battle Mountain trying to push it forward. Opportunity man. Loose ball. Nice stick check there. Colombo has this for the Sailors. And it belongs to the for Steamboat. And it is peeled back. And he fires a pass to Frank Becker. Becker now looking upfield. He heaves one in that direction. That one <laughs> over the head of Gilbertson and out of bounds. <laughs> An absolute uh, rocket for Frank Becker. He went for the distance on that one. A little Hail Mary attempt. Still scoreless, 6.51 to go and ticking down. Battle Mountain ball. Great little stick check there for McNamara. Possession Steamboat. Great effort from your Sailors. Ryan McNamara earning possession for Steamboat. The sophomore for the Sailors. One of those hockey implants from the Sailors hockey team during the winter season. Another pass. This one, an one from Steamboat. Translates to a Battle Mountain possession, and they'll try to trot upfield here with speed. And he's going to get away from pressure, walks the dog a little bit, and won't pass it over far side. Huskies gain the box, and work down low. GLE far side, pass through the near, and Bellier is there. Marked up on by Cameron Colombo. Bellier slows it down, he's going to fire pass up top, that one goes to the ground, and scooped up again, however, quickly by Caleb Dennis. Dennis now, he's one off. As Battle Mountain looks to set up their attack and go for the first goal of the game on either side. Work low to X once again. Husky's going to try and work out from that position. Malpe's marking up nicely. And a good job in the 3-3 zone for your Sailors. Now uh, it's worked once again to Bellier. Bellier tries to feed out front. He's got a man. Goes to the top of the box now. Connecting with Tom Boyne up there. Boyne is going to be... Double team, a little slide out from Kaminsky there from Steamboat. And again, good stick presence from Frank Becker this time, able to force Jamie Bellier 
So pass one down low. Worked out to the near side again, and here's Walter. To the top of the box, shot, and a goal. A long shot there. It was a skip shot from Tom Boy, and we've got ourselves the first goal of the game. The Sailors down on nothing. As Tom Boy gets the first strike for either squad. 5.20 left here in the first quarter of play, and your Sailors down by one on KTYB, one five seven. Online as well at TinoRadio.com. Do want to thank Steve Ace Hardware, the helpful place for hardware, plumbing, tools, grills, garden, and more. Offering customers and all the advice, helpful service, and quality products. Also, you see health again at the Medical Center here for everything from altitude sickness to emergency, so you can back to your ventures in Steamboat. Face off man looks to be Kempers. He's going to try and just muscle his way forward with the ball. He rolls along and is chased down on the near side by Steamboat's. Oh, as a Moyer. Nice job there from Moyer. It looks as though we'll have a whistle, and it should be a possession for Steve. Red ball! Red ball! Red ball! Red ball! Red! Red! Let's ask the player! <laughs> the official trying to uh, ask the players here. Couldn't hear this. Uh, spirited fans for the Steamboat Sailors who made their way down. <laughs> McNamara gets a low. The Sailors do have possession work to Ben Hofer. Hofer down. Far side finds Gilberton. Up top to Willack. And at the top of the box, going to try and make a run. He is going to shut down in his attempt to do so. However, still with possession. Heck now. Pass one to McNamara. Gathers, fires! Just off the mark. <laughs> and it's going to be Hofer who tries to battle his way free. Ball still is going to be scooped at towards the front of the box. The GLE far side. There's Ryan McNamara again. He picks it up for the Sailors. And here's a chance from Kempers just off the mark. And he's able to body up the man as well. And just like that, it's going to be in her possession. It's caught Underwood is out quickly from his crease. And we restart with 4.25 left, a 1 0 lead for Battle Mountain as the Huskies. Yeah, the start that they wanted to see out of their boys here in New Sailors, still looking for their first goal offensively. They gain the box, chance for Battle Mountain from the near side. It's going to be Tom Boyne who has the goal here today. Passing near side, he finds Jamie Bellier. Bellier into X with B. He's got his man there waiting for it with Tucker Mora. Moro now, far side, in addition one up top, tight angle shot off the mark, over the goal frame there, it will be chased down by Battle Mountain, they continue to possess, here with 3.55 to go in the quarter. I want to thank the Amphi Valley Bank, and Amphi Valley's only locally owned bank member at the LLC, also Alpine Lumber, employee owned and operated the contract of choice and homeowners for a pass up top again, bounce shot just off the mark. And yeah, Griffin. I'm missing out on some really good hockey action here, but I appreciate that Blair McNamara is keeping me up to date with some good stuff. It's going to be worked up field by your sailors once more. one nothing deficit here for Steamboat. Looking for their first strike on this evening matchup against Battle Mountain. 3.28 to go in first quarter play. It's going to be worked up top by Lynch. His pass off of the turf, and it's going to be gathered in by Tyler Doyle on a second effort. And Doyle now will take it, fakes it back to Lynch, gives it down to McNamara, near side GLE, into X with a pass to Hofer, and Ben Hofer. He trot out near side, has a cut man, shot it! Yeah! 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 up 1 1. Nice feed by Ben Hofer, who is able to. The cut man and Jackson Lynch in behind the defense, able to touch one upstairs on a bang bang play. Your sailors knotted up with 3.09 to go in the first quarter here from Battle Mountain High School. I do want to thank Chris Puckett at the downtown Edward Jones office. Call Chris at 879 1851 for all your investment needs. Edward Jones may consent some investing member SIPC. Also, Steam Resorts by Wyndham Vacation Rentals. If you have friends coming to town, can call 879 ask for Locust Connection discount. Ensuing face off, put to the ground, and it's going to battle for the nice. sailors scooped up for a moment and lose it. They get it again. This is the great Dillingham. And Steamboat will again have some offensive opportunities after scoring that uh, first goal. The tie thing is up at one apiece with the hometown Battle Mountain team. Dillingham now gets it off the goal and can stay out on the field as the two attackers come off of that bench. And the sailors work it to X again. This is Ben Hofer. He's escaping pressure. Passes far side, finds a stick of Jacob Gilbertson. Runs across GLE. Fakes a pass up top. Now gives it to Doyne. Waiting. 
at the top of the box. Tyler Dorn back pedals away from pressure, gives it back to Gilbertson. Quickly down into X, he finds Hofer. Hofer trying to come out front, chance, ooh, that one. And it glanced off the goalie, could have hit the pipe as well. Stays out either way. Out right here. For Battle Mountain, he's trying to clear side, but it came out of the pocket a little earlier for the long for the D-man. Gilbertson may have been in on the back pressure. Good job from Gilbertson on the ride. And Good boy. So Steve will once again have possession here. Becker's going to get the whistle. Passes up to Kempers. 2.05 to go now in the first quarter. It's not Kempers. Seals down, gives it to McNamara. Oh. And McNamara's going to get pulled over there. No loose ball foul, not sure why. Pass up the field. That one a little longer in the pocket than it was intended for. And it does stay in play. Mountain Mountain does possess. Dillingham's trying to chase a man down. He's going to go for a quick change. Battle Mountain up with some numbers up field. Two on one down low. Pack or pass shot. What a stop from Mulvey. Able to kick out the right leg. You got a piece on that. Sending it wide. Remains 1 1. Here with 93 seconds on the clock. Pass to the top now for Battle Mountain. And running across the top of the box. Doesn't have a lane to shoot. Nice job there pushing out by Lowen Epstein. Battle Mountain with it, however. They work it into X. Pass to the near side, finds Bellies. Bellies up top, finds a sticky goal score. Tom Boyne will open things up for both squads. Earlier here in the first. 110 to go now in this first stanza. It's going to be cooled off by Bellies now. Shot, big save there for Malty. And then Griffin Malty has had a couple really big saves here of his own. To match Underwood's great effort here in the early portions of first quarter play. Boyne. Epstein all the way down into the box. He's going to shovel one off to McNamara at GLE. And he'll appeal to the bench for a change. Will Eckman fires one up top. He finds the stick of Jackson Lynch. Looks to the bench to see who his man's going to be coming off. Goes to Will Eck. And then Eck fires it down to McNamara. And X with Ben Hofer waiting for it there. Gathers and possesses, cradling away from pressure. 30 seconds on the clock. 1-1 one, one score here. Here's Gilbertson, far side GLE, just a couple feet above that. And Gilbertson now ducks the shoulder, trying to get three passes near side of the Lynch, 20 on the clock. Pass him, cut man, in the nice pocket there, Quinn Keith. Comes free, scoop that. And McNamara trying to pick it up, as well as Jackson Lynch. Good stick check there. 10 seconds, 9 seconds. Whistle blows, Steamboat possession, 5 on the clock now. They didn't stop the clock there. Two seconds to go. Pass out front. That's kind of frustrating. They didn't stop the clock with an extra second and a half or so. It could have maybe been a shot. Instead, it is not. We have a 1 1 game after the first 12 minutes. We'll be back with the second quarter of play. This is your Sailor Sports Connection, KTYV 1057. We're online as well at CMORadio.com. Do they know what they're doing? Or do we need to go teach them? <laughs> they had plenty of time. I cut it off. She had plenty of time to make a play. Because that clock should have stopped. No, that was seconds. two seconds. Yeah, two more seconds on yeah. the board. Yes, the senior the senior night is May, the bail game. Uh, and Chris is leaving that Thursday, and they're both flying back on the same day. Why is he is he not playing Friday? No, big Chris is missing oh. senior night. He's got to go pick up Christopher. Well, and they move. We, we don't Send an Uber. We put stuff in a storage unit, and he's really moving out because now he's moving into an apartment. Actually. Yes, so senior so, uh, when night. I was there, and we want to make sure you come to the event. Thank you. Twenty second of May. Yeah. And we'll be, you're kidding. We'll be in uh, the British Virgin Islands. Uh, you are? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not going to say come back for that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, got to put the storage unit. That keg and a rotten couch. If we get a so storage unit, it gets passed Something. down through the years. It's just Maybe a lot of houses. My mom and I were like. Welcome back in, ladies and gentlemen. We are here from Battle Mountain High School. I just was informed by my co-host on No Boundaries that normal Tuesday 5 to 7 that uh, 
apparently he heard me trash talking. Really? And I was mistaken that should have waited for the music to uh, wrap up. And unfortunately, I don't actually have any headset to hear what's going on. I just kind of board up myself and push button and start. So we've got a uh, 1-1 game. And to be fair, I mean, the man didn't stop the clock. And we had two extra seconds there. Steamboat is right to left here. What's that? Why is there a face-off? So we had possession. No there you go. Either. So it's going to be right to left here for your sailors. Epstein's in there battling with Dillingham as well. And the third man is John and Quinn commits to the first. And he ends up with it in his pocket, loses it again. Sailors try to regather. It's Epstein who does so, and a timeout taken, I believe, by your Steamboat Sailors. And a good one at that. Uh, Steamboat will have possession out of this quick break. We'll send it back to the studios for a moment. And be back with more. This is your Sailor Sports Connection, KTYV 105.7. We're online as well at SteamboatRadio.com. Todd. Can I use your phone? Can I use your phone? Yeah, I left my phone in the phone. No, or I can use your phone. Back with you here on KTYV 1057, we're online as well as steamboatradio.com. If you're anything like me, you're wondering what was going on tomorrow between 5 and 7. Usually it's no boundaries, but tomorrow evening a special rendition of Steamboat Sailors Girls Soccer. Free game will start at 5.30, game to kick off at 6 from Gardner Field. And it should be a good match, I believe actually it's Battle Mountain that we were playing, so it should be a real good one for Gardner Field, make sure you tune into that. I'll have all the action for you right here on your Sailor Sports Connection, KTYV 105.7. Sailors have the ball here to right to left on the radio dial in the second quarter of play. Steamboat tied up at 1-1 with this Battle Mountain High School boys lacrosse team. Work to the top of the box, Sailors do have possession. It's Lynch over to Quinn Keith. 10.50 on the clock now. Keith trying to open up a shooting lane. Doesn't have it. Gives it down to Hofer. Hofer is next. He's going to try and plant. Spinning away from pressure. Now going to the far side at GLE. He's going to pass it up top. Finds Lynch. Lynch now back. That is a little bit. Opens up the lane. Passes to Dillingham. Shoots one. Skipped over the goal frame. Chased down, however, by his teammate. Sailor's so going back there. He was waiting for it back there. And he's able to gain possession again for Steamboat. Off the restart. Whistle fires near side to Gilbertson. Gilbertson now. He's going to feed one up top to Quinn Keith. Quick shout out to Renee Gilbertson helping us out with the camera. Uh, very big thank you for all the parents who have helped us out throughout the uh, throughout the year. Renee doing it here today. And we've, we've seen a whole conglomerate of different folks who have helped us out, so appreciate that. Here now is Dylan. Doesn't have a shooting lane, gets off instead to Keith. There's a shot. Oh, it's just wild. Chased down by Gilbertson, though. Well will take it in as your sailors. Continue to possess with 10.06 left in this second quarter of play. All mounted up at one apiece with Battle Mountain. Gilbertson now taking it in from Epps. He's going to try and come out far side. Fakes a pass, now gives it up top. In out of the pocket there of McNamara. Bodies fly, and the pass comes back to Underwood. Nearly lost it, and eventually does scoop it up off the turf. However, he has to escape pressure. The Sailor's going to ride. Jacob Gilbertson is in there. Fakes a little, uh, Underwood was able to fake a scoop pass. Now he does go backwards, very nearly over the head of his defender. And Battle Mountain has to advance. This one skips away from the intended target across the steamboat to the steamboat half, pardon me. Shove forward. Yeah. Nice play there from Moyer. He's able to find Dillingham, and Dillingham needs the box. He's over with it again. 9.26 to go in this second quarter of play. Dillingham walking forward with it. Now he's going to fake a pass to McNamara. Back pedals. Goes left hand, passes up to Matt Kempers. Kempers cradles. I wouldn't call that cradling. He kind of just walks with the ball. Fires one. Bounces over the goal frame. Chased down by Gilbertson. And Steamboat will have it once again. One to one score here. 
first half of play, just nine minutes remaining. As far as side goes to McNamara, she bumped off the ball, scooped up by Battle Mountain. And it's going to be an outlet pass that once again is to the ground. Chased down by Becker, and the Sailors have it again. So back-to-back -back possessions for Battle Mountain will result in immediate turnover at the midfield line. The Sailors will take it again. Dillingham with it. Passes one yeah. shot. Oh. That's a nice job. Oh. That was cool to safety, who definitely earned that one as he was knocked down hard. But puts it home in the process. 2-1 to one lead your Sailors on top for the first time here this evening. 8.44 to go in the first half. And the Sailors firing up on the sideline here. As they're excited to see Colton get the goal. And we'll have their first lead, like I said. Kaminsky's on the near side. Far side is Epstein. Looks like it's going to be Kempers in a big circle to take the draw for your Steamboat Sailors. I do want to thank... The corner slice, celebrate the sailors with good food from the friends of Town Square. Now, the steamboat, full start there against the Battle Mountain. So, the steamboat sailors will possess. Here is Kempers. Kempers tries to trot in. Fights through a number of players. Bounces it off of the turf himself. Looking to get free, but it's up to the air. And eventually gathered in by Battle Mountain. The Huskies are away. Trying to find some offense here. And once again, pass in quickly. Nice job there getting back from Moyer. There's a Moyer now. Trying to press the man off, but can't do it in time. It's going to be taken in by Battle Mountain, and they will work this one around the perimeter looking for that offense we talked about earlier. 8 10 left here in this first half. A 2 1 lead. Your Sailors are on top. Pass comes to the back post. Knocked back into the pocket there. The man on that far side for Battle Mountain. They do retain possession. Work near side, top of the box. Now down to GLE. Gathering in is Thorne Henson. That's a minute hex. Finds Bellier there. He works through the far side, and here again is that perimeter play from Battle Mountain shot just off the mark. And will be chased down by the Huskies again, however, even though Griffin Moffey was out to try and press for that for Steve Couldn't quite come up with it for foot race. Up near side, GLE on the restart whistle. 7.44 to go now in this second quarter of play. Two on lead for Steve Shot just off the mark. Multi this time and is able to win the race. Wow, it looked like he did. Oh. In fact, no, they're saying it's Battle Mountain play. You've got to be kidding me. Good effort from uh, Griffin Malfi translates to nothing. Boys and White will have this one again. 7.30 to go in this second quarter. 2-1 lead for Steamboat, but it has been Battle Mountain's possession for the last minute and a half or so. As her Moyer in there battling for it, trying to force a man to give this one off. It's going to be dished down low into the stick of Caleb Dennis. Dennis loads to GLE. Finding Bellier there, fires a pass up top, shot, big save again from Malpe. Equal to the task on that opportunity, 7 with 7 to go now. And again we see Moyer sliding out. Trying to press a little bit here defensively. Sailor's looking at a great turnover, there it goes, to the ground. There's Epstein battling for it, trying to scoop it up, he can't. There's a swarm of four different white jersey players in the area, and eventually Battle Mountain picks it up, and they will call a timeout to try and regather themselves. 6.51 on the clock now in first half action. we got a 2-1 lead for your Sailors. This is your Steamboat Sailor Sports Connection, KTYV 105.7. We're online as well at SteamboatRadio.com. Welcome back in, ladies and gentlemen, here on KTYV. It's your Sailor Sports Connection. 
Today bringing you Steamboat Sailors Boys Lacrosse. Tomorrow it is girls soccer. Then Wednesday and Thursday, Boys Lacrosse once again as they head out on a mid-week road trip, a very rare occasion. Uh, they will be playing Aspen Wednesday down in Aspen at uh, Eagle Valley on Wednesday, yeah, Wednesday for Aspen, Thursday is Eagle Valley. We're actually going to be staying in Glenn, I believe, so a good little uh, chance for the boys to come together. Those road trips are always definitely the best and serve up some of the best memories for a lot of these guys. I know that from experience. Worked around the Hornets, Battle Mountain with possession out of this timeout. 2-1 lead for your Steamboat Sailors. They are in their red uniforms, white numbers, red, uh, red trim on the shorts here today. Their away kit. Six and a half to go now in this second quarter. Work to the near side. Coming out front, it's Belly and shot. Be hey! able to get the big pocket down and make that stop on the attempt to wrap around for Bellier. It's going to be mopping down. Feeds it upfield. That one bounces free. Bellier scooped the other direction. He comes out once again. Flying upfield, this is Nick Walter. Walter tries it back for G. Intercepted by Lynch. Passes to Malpe, and your sailors have it once again. Go ahead, all the way down. Halfway through the second quarter. Malpe will run forward with this for Steamboat. For the outlet, finds Gilbert. Gilbert is now across the midfield line. And he's going to just pass this one. Fakes a pass, sorry. He takes it himself, gains the box, and feeds it down low to Tyler Doyne. Doyne now, working it to X. Finds Hofer there. Ben Hofer now going to try and come out near side. Didn't have a lane for it. Gives it up top instead to Gilbertson. To the top of the box now, Max, or Jackson Lynch part. There you go. So you don't think of his brother because his folks just visited. Believe. Five and a half minutes remaining here. Shot is off the mark. Sailor's able to chase it down. Tyler going there. And Doyne's going to take it in on the restart whistle. Passes to X. Finds uh, Jacob Gilbertson. Feeds it up to Lynch. Lynch now. Around the horn again. To Queen Keith. Keith, you know, just go back to yourself. Finds Lynch. Yeah, there you go. Ridley. Lynch down the GL over side. It's Gilbertson now. To X. Maybe for a third was Hofer. Hofer comes out far sideline. Doesn't quite get to GL. Reverses course now. Passes up top of the box to Queen Keith. Far side yeah, corner. Up to the middle of the field now. Will X. Zach is just up top. I haven't seen a whole lot of him throughout the day. I'm not sure if he is nursing an injury or what the diagnosis is on Will X. I haven't seen as much of him as we have in the recent games. Pass now to Tyler Doyne. Rips a shot from range. Off the mark. Chased down by Gilbertson. Sailors will have possession. 4.51 to go in the second quarter of play. 2-1 lead for Steamboat. And what has really been a defensive battle and a goaltending duel. Connor Underwood's made a number of really big saves, as has Steamboat's Griffin Malpe. It's for Doyne now, trying to open up a shooter, and he reverses course. Tried to pass it low, couldn't quite do it, had to pick it off the turf, he does so in one hop. Gets it into X, finding Hofer. Hofer reverses course to the far side of the field again. Bounce pass, going to be gathered in by Steamboat, and work to the top of the box, towards the midfield line, dangerously close, but Eck is able to chase it down. And we'll attack once more as your sailors work this one in. Playing with the left foot, cutting left to right, but he's going to be forced to pass off to Doyne. Down to Hofer, in and out of his pocket. He does scoop it up on the second effort. He can come out front and he's pressured by a foul mountain defender. Passes to Gilbertson. Really good two minute possession here for your sailors. But it's going to come to an end. Underwood scoops up a pass that was into the slot. And out comes Battle Mountain. And it's just as I was about to say, it's a long possession. It's good, but you need to make sure you finish on it. They don't. It's on Battle Mountain now. Up to the game in the box. Work to the high slot. Opportunity shot. That one bounces wide. It will be chased down by Tucker Mora. So Battle Mountain will continue to possess here. 344 to go. So a two-minute two possession, that's all for not that one. Especially in a two-to-one game is not what you want to see. Sailors do have that lead, but now all of a sudden one shot and we can be tied up here at Battle Mountain High School. Still plenty of ball game left though with 27 and a half minutes remaining in this one. That was some quick math. I'm somewhat impressed by my own ability to do that. I was really worried that my mind would kind of just melt or something, but it didn't. 322 to go now in this second quarter. Two to one lead. Once again, Battle Mountain with this as they did have another shot that was off the mark while I was rambling on about that. We're going to your side once more. Pass down to X. Battle Run Huskies trying to find someone in front. They don't really have a whole lot of movement off the ball in terms of that slot area, or what I call the slot hockey turn, but there's a chance. Top of the box, man, works in. Pass to GLE near side. 
And we'll do a little feed through the center. That one knocked down by a number of Steamboat defenders. Works towards the near sideline. And it is contended for a scoop up by Sean Yonka. Yonka now able to escape some pressure. Yonka with a little bit of a run here. He's going to look up field and eventually find Frank Becker. Becker now cradles, fires a pass. He's going to connect. The Sailors are away. This is Doyne. Doyne to Gilbertson. Fires and scores. No, just kidding. Got everybody in front of me. They're all five out of goal. As well. Just off the mark. Underwood, though. Able to get enough of that to send it wide, so it is no goal. Two eighteen to go here in the second quarter. Still a two-one game. Aaron Clay from Steamboat turns into foul mountain shot. That one hit a bunny in front. It's gonna be scooped at. Pick it up! Actually, it is picked up by the Sailors. It's Moyer. Tries to feed it forward. He can't do so. And it's gonna be taken back in by Battle Mountain once again. Worked into the box, pass to the far side, shot upstairs, that one is into the back of the net, it's Moro, who ties it up, two piece now, one to go. The Sailors once again kind of had their chances to clear, they were unsuccessful, they to do so, and a little bit of sloppy play leads to the goal for Battle Mountain, they're able to capitalize on their chance from the far side corner. Three feet above that GLE. And that's two to two now here on KTYV 1057. We're online as well as SteamboatRadio.com. That's what I'm talking about now. You don't convert on the two minute possession, and all of a sudden, one goal, which we just saw, ties it up. It's almost like I'm a prophet, but let's not go that far. You know, it's Oracle. Maybe Oracle? I think yes. that sounds better. <laughs> 152 to go. Ensuing face off push forward by your sailors. Contended for. Pushing it around is Colton Sankey. He can't come up with possession. However, it's taken by Battle Mountain. They'll try to advance this. And some good hustle from the Husky. That turns in to at least an opportunity for offense. 93 seconds on the clock now. 2-2 two two game here on KTYV. It's the first half of action. Your Sailors boys lacrosse team is all knotted up. Opportunity now, pass comes down low. Tight angle pass to the back door. Thought he was going to shoot. Nice little fake there. We got me to bite on it. However, it's worked in X. Back post again. Behind the back shot. That one just off the mark. The opportunity from Tom Boyne, who's getting a little bit confident there. In terms of being in front of the net. Steamboat does chase it down. A good effort from the Sailors. And here's Malpy. Outlets to Dillingham. 105 to go now. In this second quarter of play, Dillingham going to just march upfield. We'll gain the box. And a timeout taken by Steve. But we'll step away for a quick moment. The coaching staff wants to have some words with the boys. And hopefully they're trying to plot something up that will uh, result in a goal. One minute on the clock, exactly. 2-2 Two -two the score. This is your Sabre Sports Connection, KTYV 105.7. We're online as well as SteamboatRadio.com. Saying that because I'm in the uh, comfort of the press box, but 
I mean, it's nice. Got some sun out there. There was an occasional uh, wind gusts that were pretty strong, but it seems to have settled down at least somewhat. Ball worked around. Your Sailors with the ball out of timeout. Go down to Gilbertson. They're trying to find a goal here in the last minute of play. And Gilbertson trying to reverse away from the pressure. Comes out on your side, GLE, and cuts and shoots. That one off the mark. They chase it down. Trying to turn the Jets on. They're going to to uh, on, give it to the Sailors. Come on, Steamboat. No! Hey! They're giving it to the uh, Oh my god! <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, apparently. It's going to be down a mountain ball, half a minute to go now. And the Huskies will just lollipop one to the far side of the field. Good little ride here from Doyne. And then Gilbertson into the passing lane here, very nearly knocked it away from Underwood. Well, he did knock it away from him, but Underwood recovered. Now, Battle Mountain trying to press up the field to play. 16 on the clock now. Huskies lose the ball, scooped up by the Sailors. They try to advance it over the head of McNamara, and it comes down in the box. We've got five on the clock now. The Huskies going to try and push this one forward. Shot goes well over the goal frame. And that's it. First half is in the books. We will be back with the second after this. KTYB 105.7. We're all mine as well at
However, the Steelers definitely seemingly a little bit lethargic out there in their actions. A team that they beat 13 to five. Obviously, you make adjustments. You watch the video, but I gotta say that uh, in terms of what I'm seeing from Steamboat, it's a little bit slower offensively than I would like to. I would like to point out. 10:18 to go now. Gilbertson up to Eck. He gives it off to Kempers. Kempers gonna turn. Looks to just feed it back down to McNamara. 3-2 lead now for the Sabres. McNamara up front, shoots! And that one! It's in! 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 It's Ended up just kind of squeaking across the line, but it'll count nonetheless. 4 2 to the score. You're still looking for a couple quick strikes. A little 10 05 to go in this third quarter of play. They're going to bring out the likes of. Change it up, Dilly! We're going to have a face off with Epstein on the far side. Two midfielders here for this draw. Dillingham on the face off, waits for the whistle. Gets it, pushes forward, tried to contend for it. He yeah. lost it, picked up by Hepstone, and he lost it. Picked up by Dylan, can't see what possesses. Worked down to Doyne. Long now to Gilbertson. Gilbertson, gonna just work his way slowly towards X. Fires it back over to Doyne. And then he'll feed it again to Jacob Gilbertson. Out front, chase! Uh, coaching staff said their staff must have worked because they've come out with three goals in the first two minutes and 17 seconds of play here in this third quarter. So a really good start for Steamboat. They'll bring in Reese Morgan for the ensuing face-off. And then Epstein and Kaminsky on the wings once again. Do you want to thank the Amphibelli Bank? Q is backside! Local Mill Bank member FDIC. Also Alpine Lumber, employee owned and operated the contractor's choice. Home with friends, as well as Mountain Mattress and Furniture, located on Lawrence Lane, offering the best prices and service without leaving the valley. Shop local and sleep great. The face off's going to be won by Steamboat eventually. Grace Morgan scoops it to Doyne. He gets it to Gilbertson. He's in. He shoots. Big save from Underwood. Rebound. Going to be the attack. Warren here. His chance. Six to two oh, yeah. years, just like yeah, that. Yeah. Get him a new helmet. A flood of gold. That head's going. As your sailors on top of this. Hey, Great start for Steamboat. Just two minutes and 36 seconds into this one, and you can hear that the whole bench on that far side is jubilant. Go, Dilly! Moyers on the near side. Epstein again with Dillingham to take the draw. Depends for this. Eventually, it's going to work free, and it's taken in by Battle Mountain. They'll try to get their first offensive possession. Great stick check from behind by Dillingham. Great Dillingham. They get this back again for your Sailors. And he fights through a number of defenders, gets to the box, and works it low. Gathered in there by Gilbertson. He's an X. Far as far side of Dolan. Now to Will Eck. Eck comes to your side to Jackson Lynch. Top of the box. Down to Mack. He's going in. And Mack <laughs> does not have a lane. Right ahead. There we go, now man. Flag flies. Looks like we've got our first penalty of the game. Pass comes low to Tyler Dolan. 8.42 to go. He just avoids pressure. Tries to pass from up top. That one's going to be over and back. It'll be a possessive foul. And so your Sailors will... Draw the whistle with the dirty laundry, and it will be a one-minute penalty against Battle Mountain for slashing. Two minutes. Eight and a half to go here in the third quarter of play. 6-2 lead for your Steamboat Sailors. Gilbertson, McNamara, Dillingham, McNamara again. All to start off this third quarter in a real good way for your Sailors. And now it's man-up play. Will Eck will take it in on the restart whistle. Eck fires it near your side, finds McNamara down to Gilbertson and X. Gilbertson now works it up far side to Dillingham, along to Will Eck, top of the box. Runs near your side, gives it back to Lynch, to Gilbertson. And it's going to be a man that's knocked off the ball. Eventually the Sailors do come back to him, trying to get this one, but Gilbertson was bodied off. Good defensive play there from Battle Mountain, however. Save one off of uh, Battle Mountain player last, but we'll have it, Tyler Doyne. 
Eight oh five on the clock. Fakes it, takes one in front and scores. Tyler going, doing dirty work, going out front, but it's seven to two. He's got that, he's got that height. He's not, he's not down hard on that. You no, know, they just kept waiting for it to go around the horn again. Yeah. For the second time here today, we've seen someone that is taking the hit to make the play and two goals because of it for Steamboat Sailors. Seven to two, the lead now for Steamboat. Here in the third quarter of play, 8.02 left, and the man up striped for the boys in red. Speaking of red and maroon and all that fun stuff, you know, Avalanche, game three today, big one. I'll be cruising home to make sure I can catch the last two periods of that <laughs> against Calgary. Off the ensuing face off, Kempers cannot win it. They can step up out and out. Aaron Passauer going to go across the sideline. It becomes a Steamboat possession. Everything right now going Steamboat's way here in the third quarter of play. They've created turnovers. They've capitalized on the Middle, pitches. middle! And then here's Kempers now. He's going to try and fight through a number of players. Nice little swim move to get three. Kempers is going to work towards the box. Stick check from behind, but able to at least... Well, I'll fight him off. And possession retained by Steamboat Geo on your side. Now it's Ben Hofer. Hofer's got McNamara in the X. Takes it. Nice little plant and stop. Give it back to Hofer. Hofer into the backdoor play. One touch shot there. Just off the mark. Now an opportunity for Gilbertson. And Sankey's trying to contend for it. But Underwood looks to make a run. Now he back away from pressure and feeds one over to the far side. Taken off one hop by a man for Battle Mountain. 7 2 lead for your Sailors. And the Huskies trying to find some offense again here. Third quarter of play, they haven't seen a whole lot of chances. Again, it's going to be picked up by Becker. He loses it. Scooped up off the turf by Cliff Sankey. And Sankey's away for Steamboat. And again, here come the Sailors. Sankey runs into a man that was Bellier trying to get back. Tripped up on the play. Flag will fly. Bellier will take a knee. It's going to be another man up opportunity for the Sailors. 6.54 left in the third quarter. One minute penalty against Salier for tripping. 6.54 to go, like I said, and a 7 2 lead for your Sailors. It looks as though they're going to have Lynch to take this one in from the near side. Looks like it's just the 30 second penalty. Lynch will take it in. That's it from the official. The whistle will bring us to a clock that runs once more. McNamara doesn't like what he had out front because it's a Lynch. Lynch, far side now. Connects on the pass to Dillon again, now to Doink. Doink trying to come out front and get a lane to shoot, doesn't do it. Pass back to Doink, scooped off the turf. He gives it off now, an opportunity at an angle. Shot is stopped by Underwood. And he will just look to get free here for Battle Mountain. Pass to the far side. In and out of the pocket of the defender's stick. And now it's going to be a challenge for the Sabres. Able to scoop it up. That comes in. Rips one. Big stop there. I think it may have glanced off of Underwood's stick. It was out of bounds. Chased down by Steamboat. 6-16 remaining here in the third quarter of play. We're back to full strength again from Battle Mountain High School. Now pass comes to Doyne. Looks in front, doesn't have Dillingham. Really like what the Sailors have done. Five unanswered goals here in this third quarter of play. That's the way that you come out in the second half. Excellent job from Steamboat. They've got two from McNamara, one from Doyne, one from Dillingham, and one from Gilbertson. In no real order on that. Pass to Lynch up top again. Sailors have possessed for all but two two rushes for Battle Mountain. That didn't even turn in any extended time offensively. It was quick turnovers both times. I love the Steamboat possessions again. There's another chance for Battle Mountain trying to break out. Great ride from Tyler Doing. He's getting help as well from Dillingham. However, Battle Mountain breaks it, and they're going to go off the field and they're trying to find some offense. Elliott passes shot. Oh, just off the mark. And Griffin Malfi quickly out to try and run it down, but Fuller Hensel beats it there. And then it will be a Battle Mountain ball here with 527 to go. Hensel trying to take it in and look for some offense. 7 2 lead for your Steamboat Sailors are left to right on 105 7. Do want to thank Yanka Valley Bank. Yanka Valley is only locally on the bank member FDIC. Also, Alpine Lumber. Only one to operate the contract. Nice. 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 He turns one up field quickly into the stick of Jackson Lynch. Lynch is coming out field with uh, four on three, potentially pass down to McNamara. Back post, he's looking for Gilbertson to reach for. Slows it down enough to gather it off the turf. And the Sailors have set up their offense once again. Under five to go now in the third quarter of play. 7-2 lead for Steamboat. 
Out to Reese Morgan, near side to Jackson Lynch. Lynch now. Does have a good lane to McNamara. Gets back to Morgan instead. And Morgan will just cycle through. Good pass there to Keith. Quinn Keith in. It's just a McNamara in X. And then he goes to the far side. And Gilbertson had to go in and out of his pocket. He does regather. Four and a half to go here in the quarter. Do want to thank the corner slice. Celebrate the sailors with good food fun and friends in Old Town Square, downtown Steamboat. Also Mountain View Car Wash helping the sailors clean the competition between Town and McDonald's and Highway 40. Chance there for McNamara on Patrick Finn. No good as Underwood is able to stop it. Out with feet from Underwood. Gets away from a couple different battle mountains. That's you, Ken. Ken Ford on the turf. Ken Ford. Yeah! 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 The sailors have it again. Going into the box quickly, spins away from pressure, and is stick checked free of the ball. Trying to scoop it up again, and ends up lobbing out of his pocket, and Underwood's out to gather it for Battle Mountain. Outlets, connecting on the pass there with Christopher Kappel. And Kappel is up the field here, the long pole midi here for Battle Mountain. Passes off, and he's going to go for a quick change as we'll try to bring the attacking midfielder out instead. 3.36 to go now in the third quarter. And a 7-2 lead for your Steamboat Sailors. It's going to be taken now by Battle Mountain Farside, top corner of the box. It's Hensel. Dishes one off. Pass comes into X now. It's going to be gathered just around that turf area by Takamura. Give it a little reach. And Morrow's around the horn here with it. That just spins back and will try to the run of it itself. Mora passes it down. Backside. Worked into X now. And pass to Bellier near side. Up top. Shot. Goal. It's 7 3. The second strike of the day for Tom Boyne. Two fifty nine to go here in the third quarter. The Battle Mountain Huskies able to stop the bleeding. Your sailors though. Out to a five goal lead at one point, now just four. Seven to Take three, it back three, four. Do you want to thank Russell's Auto Salon, your premier full service auto body shop where you always meet by accident? Call Russell's at 879-1515. Also Steamboat Ace Hardware, the helpful place for hardware, plumbing, tools, grills, garden, and more, offering customers knowledgeable advice. Helpful service and quality products. Looks as though there was a flag on the play as well. So the Sailors not only give up the goal, but they are a man down once again. So a face off here. Kempers loses that one clean. Battle Mountain is away. Trying to find some man up chances. So looking to bring it back to within three. It's going to be ran by Baker Gentry to the far side. Passes one off, gets it back again on a give and go. Gentry up top of the box. Pushed out on by Cameron Colombo. Nice job there from the Sailors pressing. 2.37 to go now. Pass comes to the near side, worked around and towards GLE, back up top again. Boyne, give it to Gentry. A little run here from Gentry. Fakes a shot, lost the ball. It's to the turf. Contender four between the two teams. In front of Malfi, it's a big scrum. Almost everyone's involved in Malfi. Nice job there from Griffin Malfi, and he escapes pressure. And eventually will go all the way up the field of play. It bounces very nearly towards goal, and a loose ball push there, I believe. It will be Battle Mountain Ball. It's a little seven on the clock. Back to the middle of the field here, set to three score. It's a fundamental, it's a basic. Now it's going to be taken by Bellier, Bellier. Passes down to Moro. Tight angle shot and goal. No, that one off the side of the frame. Second time we've seen that instance occur from this near angle from the press box. And on this goal. now outlets to Yonka. 99 seconds to go, Yonka making the run for the Sailors. Right, right, Yonka right. Fires. Stopped by Underwood. Whistle blows. No. Timeout taken before the shot. 133 to go now in this third quarter. 7 3 lead for the Sailors, and we will have a steamboat ball out of this timeout. Your sailors up 7 3 on KTYV 1057 or online as well as steamboatradio.com. Good call. That was a good call. Uh, is it done? What, what game? No, no, I'll do one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In case I kiss all those girls and see me. <laughs> oh, wait. Natalie, you guys have family get together. Three of the eyes. 
<laughs> awesome. Did somebody get a hat? No, we go sick. We go sick. Oh, he waited. <laughs> <laughs> so after the game, <laughs> after the game, what's that going to No. I think he kind of just like happened into it. He actually, I'm taking a group of my friends next year, hopefully. Yeah, he's on a trip, and then he's on that. So it's going to be gonna be pretty special. So did the whole crew like the same? All our family? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We love it. Some of us aren't like big in the sailing part of it, but like the family bonding, yeah. and, like the drinking. Oh, and yeah. got out of the truck, yeah. went to the tail. Yeah. 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 Did she say save something <laughs> for <this>? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back in, ladies and gentlemen. We are here on KTYV 105.7. <laughs> Sounds like uh, you guys can hear all about my great trip that I'm about to take, so sorry about that. 7-3 <laughs> <laughs> to three the score here as we're coming out of the timeout. Sailors will have the ball, 93 seconds left. I just got texted from my boss. Clearly he's just a little bit, uh, a little bit <laughs> jealous and... Uh, <laughs> Apparently you heard about the kissing too, so <laughs> good times, good times here on World Five Seven. Seven to three score, your sailors will have the lead and the ball out of this one. Ninety-three seconds on the clock for the play. Well, I got a sec. Want to thank uh, UC Healthy and Valley Medical Center here for everything from altitude sickness to emergencies, so you can get back to your adventures in steamboat. The sailors ball, will act with it, passes it to McCray Dillingham. Dillingham trots across the top of the box here, and will eventually look down low to Tyler Doyne. Finds it. Going now into X, connecting there with Hanaway. Hanaway along further to Gilbertson on top of the box again to Lynch. Jackson Lynch going to try and make a little bit of a run. Cuts away from pressure, gives it to Gilbertson and GLE. Into X now on Tyler Dorn. Cycles through with Gilbertson, gives it back to him again, and he'll backpedal into X. Finds Hanaway near side, 55 on the clock. Hanaway gives it back down low to Gilbertson. Feeds a pass far side to Tyler Dorn, up top now to Lynch. Lynch works it to Will Eck. Eck going to try and make a little cut here away from pressure. Gives a pass down to Hanaway. Away from him, he's going to uh, dish one into Eck. Nice job there getting it to him. Will Eck up now to Dillingham. Half a minute on the clock here. Third quarter of play. Ball is going to be worked in by Jackson Lynch. Now to Tyler Dorn. Into Gilbertson. Got away from him. He contends for it still. That was Underwood who came out to fight for that ball. Picked up by Battle Mountain. And they will just work it up field. Nice connection on that pass. And there are numbers up field. Here's Bellier. Pass to the slot. More jump shot. Cool. That's the cool. That's the transition. That's a goal for the Huskies, number 7-4 now, Tucker Morrow with his second of the game. And seconds again. on the clock now. Third quarter of the play. Epstein, Al Kagan, one of the wings. Looks as though Dillingham will be the draw man. No, yes, yes. Great Dillingham. We'll take the face off here. Ten seconds on the clock. If the sailor's going to get anything. It'll have to be real quick. Come on, Dillingham Steve out. Scoop one forward. Instead by Battle Mountain. And a big hit there. McCray Dillingham. Oh, come on. You've got to be kidding me. Clean it. Clean hit. That was a clean hit. As you heard the fans say. McCray Dillingham getting some words. I can't believe that one. Two seconds on the clock. The officials now talking with this. Obviously was. Two of them. Two of them. Many of us on. See what happens here. Just drops and tries to figure it out. Two seconds on the clock. I'm going to guess that uh, Battle Mountain won't try and shoot right away off of this, and they should start with possession because of the infraction here against Dillingham. We'll see. Double. The whistle below. Clocked it down. There it is. Four sounds. It'll be possession for Battle Mountain. We come back with the fourth and final quarter of play. Seven to four to score here. And you say the sports connection, KTYB 105.7 online as well. Come on, Steve Boat! Come on, Steve Boat! How you doing back there? It's a little chilly up here in Colorado, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> 
God. So I keep moving to Arkansas. It was called the SRG. Was it? Last time I went to Arkansas. It was cold. It's like my niece's story. My niece's story. How are they? One was good, one was bad. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know. Can somebody? Are you gonna come do my camera? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Come on, Steve! <laughs> Is it warm in there? Yes. Yes. Go, guys! Is it warm out there? Yeah, I'm comfortable. It is. It's but nice. look, I bought my brought the other poofy coat. <laughs> but you're in your you're probably in your shorts and flip flops, aren't you? No, not on this today. one. <laughs> That sun does blind me. Welcome back, in, ladies and gentlemen, here on KTY. Come on, Steamboat! Steamboat! We're online as well at SteamboatRadio.com. 7 to 4 lead for your Steamboat Sailors after the third quarter of play. It is a possession and a man up opportunity for about. Battle Mountain as the Huskies try to claw back into this one. Pun fully intended. Work to the other end of the side. To the top of the box, middle of the field. Far side of the Huskies working it around the corner. And again, it's going to be taken and fired to the stick of Baker Gentry. No. He's one near side. So there's trying to pressure a little bit here defensively. Looking to cause a turnover. 11 and a half minutes left in the game. Fired wide by the Huskies. Chased down by Battle Mountain. They retain possession. 7 to 4 lead. Three Sailors. This comes up to the top. Work down to GLE once more. Up top again. And tries to create away from pressure again. It's Nick Walter. He's going off and good movement off the ball here. There's a lot of cycling going on for the Huskies. Good stick check from Frank Becker. Becker scoops the ball up and he's going to run away himself. Becker. This is one the and they turn it back across the midfield line. Sailors will have this one and their man just comes out of the box now. Full strength here from Bow Mountain. At 50 on the clock now is the game clock. As we are Keep moving, forward. Steamboat! 7-4 lead for Steamboat. And Aaron pass there from Ryan McNamara. He checks his stick, but I believe, my friend, Come on, his stick is just fine. <laughs> so it becomes a battle mountain ball. Good old ride here from the Sailors. Pass upfield, able to connect with Tom Boyd, and he's going to take this ball for battle mountain. GLE. And it's going to be worked around the top of the box. And now, Battle Mountain tries to possess with 10.27 to go. 7 to 4 lead here. Sailors are on top. But for the first two minutes of this one, it's been mostly Battle Mountain with possession. Granted, one of that uh, about a minute or so was with man down for your Sailors. Ball comes to the near side, finds a stick oh, oh. So inside opportunity. Eventually ends up in the big pocket of Griffin Malkin. Your Sailors will take this. Ten minutes on the clock now. Malky looking upfield here. Come on, Steamboat! Watch on as again now Battle Mountain has this, and it's been a game of long, long upfield passes here for both sides. The latest of which was Battle Mountain. They're going to contend for this great job there, knocking it into the field play, but here comes Malky. Go, Up the near sideline, passes one up the field, over the head there of his intended target. It was Moyer, and the Sailors do chase it down. They're able to keep it alive. Nice job from Dillingham. Great Dillingham dishes down to Jacob Gilbertson below GLE, far side of the box. 9.15 to go. Your Gilbertson mother wants you to do something. Near side. Plants with the right foot. Pass out front to Dillingham. 
You give it to the top of the box and you find Jackson Lynch, the near side of the left. That goes down the near side of the box to Hofer, who trots towards GLE and now below. Passes to X, finding Jacob Gilbertson up top to Tyler Doyne. 8.54 on the clock and ticking down in this matchup. Your Sabres up 7 to 4. Pass to Hofer. Trying to cut out part of the shooting lane. Gives it out instead to Will Eck. Eck now across the top of the box to Tyler Doyle. Work to Dillingham. Shoots one. Stopped there by Underwood. God, that guy is good. Connor Underwood has made a lot of real nice saves here for this Battle Mountain Huskies team. Griffin Malby has matched it though with a number of real nice saves himself. Battle Mountain going to heave this one up the field as they try to get in the box. They do so just in time. That's the GLE now. He's going to find a stick there for Hensel. Hensel works it through X with a pass himself. And Battle Mountain now with this, top of the box, nice little press, good slide, shot, stopped by Malty. A good job to stop that one from going over the goal frame and out of balance, he's able to slow it and turn it to a steamboat possession. Here's Doyne, Doyne trying to get away from pressure, decided not to take the lane he had. Here's Hofer near your side now, tripped up and Ben Hofer. Not going to get a call on that one. It's to the turf. He scoops up again. Good shot from Ben Hofer covering his feet. And now Hofer will just beat it down to Gilbertson. Good job, Ben! 7.36 to go here in this fourth and final quarter of play. Gosh, what, they need Three some energy. The Sailors passed up top now. Gosh. So everybody at home knows that. Taken by Will Eck. McCray Dillingham fires. Better shot! Once again. Come on. Come on. Taken. It's a tough crowd that's made their way down here for the Sailors. Not a whole lot of positive stuff going out, just saying. Come on, <laughs> here comes Dillingham. Shoot! Ah, oh, just off the What a great shot! Chased down. <laughs> great, nice positive attitude out there for the Sailors fan. Now here's that's going. what we like! <laughs> 703 on the clock. I'm not sure why they're giving that to Battle Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Worked across by Huskies. They're going to try and come up the field of play. 7 4 lead for your Steamboat Sailors. Under seven minutes on the clock now. I do want to thank Mountain View Car Wash, helping the Sailors clean the competition between Town and McDonald's on Highway 40. Also, Russell's Office Lawn. <laughs> Your premier full service auto body shop where you always meet by accident. You can call Russell's at 879 1515. Chance shot. Big save again for Malky. He's been big all game. Come on, now move that ball. Passes it to Epstein. Epstein. Looks up field. He's going to have. Oh, Colton Sankey, sorry. There it is. Near side of Doyne. Rips one. Oh. Nearly Damn. takes the hip out of Jacob Gilbertson. But he's able to avoid that. And hurt possession for the Sailors. 6.18 now on the clock. 7-4 lead, in comes Gilbertson. Come on, Jacob. Puts a hand up, fakes a shot, comes out front, fits! Ah! Under one again! Wow, this guy's playing unreal. Oh. He's his Battle Mountain team in it right now. Oh. Gilbertson should have tucked that one home. <laughs> Go, Jacob! And over now, I'm going to try and come out front. He's in there. It is. Looking to make a feed up to Gilbertson. Gilbertson. To Doyne, top of the box. Doyne takes a shot. Move around, move around. No movement off the ball. Now here's Will Eck. He fires one stop by Connor Underwood. The Sailors need to start to get some more uh, ball movement off of the. Go Tyler! Yeah! Sorry, off the ball movement, I should say. Doyne trying to ride hard here for the Sailors. Couldn't create a turnover. Battle Mountain the other direction. Five and a half to go. Back post play. Shot just off the mark there. I had a chance to bring it to within three. I mean, or two, sorry. It was Moro. He missed his hat trick bit. Come on, Steamboat. I want to thank Steamboat Days Hardware, the helpful place for hardware, plumbing, tools, grills, gardening, more offering customers and all of the best helpful service and quality products. Also, you see healthy and quality products. If you're very nice to help, you can to emergency so you can get your, back to your best. That's low once again into the stick of Jamie Bellier. Comes near side to Mora, back to Bellier out front. Doesn't have a nice, shooting nice. Good stick check there from oh, 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 Frank Becker, but he can't pick up the loose ball. Ten four Mora does take this one in for Battle Mountain. Four fifty two to go now, and Mora tries to pass one out front. Good contending there from Griffin Malpe, and a crease violation will turn into a steamboat possession. Malpe 
passes his There we go. Nice play, bro. Nice play, bro. Two. Two. Doing it quickly to Gilbertson. Jump shot. Oh, jeez. He will win that race and keep possession for the Sailors. So, a lot of uh, chances of going here. I want to take up. Come on, man. Plus. Fourth quarter, no goals on either side. Here comes Gray Dillon on top of the box now for your steamboat squad. Oh my lord. Runners over far side, finds Lynch. Lynch feeds it down to Gilbertson, who's waiting next. Tries to come out near side, passes one to Dolan. Tight angle, doesn't shoot, gives it to Kempers instead. Feeds one off quickly there to Lynch. Inside to Dillon, Cammy is a GLE. Passes to Gilbertson. To the top, there's Lynch. Fires one, just over the goal frame. <laughs> Maintain <laughs> possession for Steamboat Hell. Chris <coughs> Gilbertson is there. 4 of 3 left in the game. One of the Chris Bucket, the downtown Ever Jones office. You can call Chris. Let's go, Come on, guys! Come on, Jacob! Ever Jones making sense of investing up for SIPC. That's up top now to Dillingham. Far side to Lynch. Fires one low to high. Big save against Good Underwood. Good movement, guys. Good movement. Let's go. Crossbar. I got this great stuff. Stays out. 7 4 lead still for Steamboat. Latest goal is back. So yeah, far, here is Tyler yeah, Dillon. Nice little jump step, gets away from pressure, shoots! Oh. Another save from Underwood. Now Dillingham will scoop it up. Oh, oh, we got him, we got him, we Dillingham takes his for Steamboat. Three and a half minutes left in the fourth quarter of play. Just the clock. Pass comes to Kepper. Yeah! 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 <laughs> Kemper's first. Nice look, you guys. Thanks, Steamboat Resorts by Window Vacation Rentals. If you have friends coming to town, give them a call at 879 Ask for the locals connection discount. Also, Mountain Mattress and Furniture located on Loggers Lane. Take up, let's go, man. Service without leaving the valley. Shop local. Sleep great. 327 on the clock here. Fourth quarter of action. 8 to 4 lead now for your sailors. The Kemper's goal being the latest. And the only one, in fact, in this fourth quarter for either team. It's going to be Moyer coming in to help out Reese Moyer on the draw. Far side looks for Epstein once again, pushed forward by the Sailors. And it's Gilbertson again. Oh, take it, take it. Gilbertson fires. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know you might go. There you go. Back to back. Here I right go. He's out of seat. Open up on the bus. Nine four now. I miss that one. <laughs> Three fifteen to go. In case you're wondering what happened, Renee Gilbertson missed that one. I wonder why. Let's go, Billy. Three fifteen left. It's like it's her son or something. Nine to four lead. Your Sailors back out to a five goal lead. They've had that at seventy two as well. Go so in a false start on the face-off there, and so Steamboat possession again. Come on, McCray! Ten left now in the game. My color commentator is Renee Gilbert. <laughs> She's also helping out with uh, the video. Appreciate that. Fast work to Jackson Lynch down to GLE with a nice little feed. Comes into X. Finds Tyler Doyne. Doyne going to try and stutter step away from pressure. Reversing the horse. Nice little 360. That's free. He pressed the B button. And it's going to be taken by Jacob Gilbertson, 2.45 on the clock. Nice, Gilbertson nice, crosses nice. top of the box to Jackson. Oh, 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 oh. Out of his pocket prematurely. Scooped up by Hofer. Passes in. Good job, good job. There we go. Slide good out good to the Battle Mountain. Shot oh. stopped by Underwood. He got his in as well. And quickly feeds it up the field to play oh, out. Okay. Too far in front of his man. He does run into it, though. And scoop it up, keeping it alive. Head down. And good little oh, oh, opportunity. Oh, shot. Oh, just off the line. Two twelve left here, and ticking down in the game. Nine four lead for your Sailors. Five goal spread between the teams, unless uh, Battle Mountain has some special plan. Our sailors look like they will continue their perfect Western Slope lead play. GLE near side, fired up far side of the field. Nice little opportunity shot, just off the mark. Nice save from Malpe. Chases it down, but does not win the race. One fifty one on the clock now. For the lead. 
little handoff there of sorts for Battle Mountain. Up top, opportunity shot. Nice job there from Yaki. He gets it away. Yeah. Took one for the team. I don't understand how they don't have more pain in this sport. It's a big bullpen on this rubber ball that's been fed around. Especially the goaltender. I've never been goal. That just sounds like the worst job ever. 80 seconds on the clock. Your Sailors on top, 9 4. They're heading to another victory here at Battle Mountain High School. They will go to a perfect 8 0 no record. Us in front, eventually poked out by Malpe. The Lego Saint will go to 8 0 no league play, 9 3 overall. Go, Steely! The field out here is Doyne. Sailors have got no particular rush here as Tyler Doyne vacates the box, takes a pass low, gives it instead to Jackson Lynch. Lynch now. Taking the top of the box, middle of the field. Work to Dillingham. And now, and Spencer Schlegel couldn't get the shot up. Schlegel scoops it up. And three, pursued by Bowman. And here come the Huskies. Long pull D man wanted in on the action. Couldn't get a shot to go on the front. Scoop up by Cliff. Jackson Cliff and stick check from the front. Russian again for Battle Mountain. We're 21 seconds on the clock. 9 4 lead for your Sailors. They're on their way to a, another one. Good little victory earned here. Took a while for them to fire up. Really, I would say that the Sailors played a pretty lethargic game through and through. They had a five goal spread at the beginning there of the third quarter, and then they scored two in a matter of 30 seconds. Outside of that, really pretty boring game from Steve. It's not very positive. Taylor's win. We'll have plenty more action coming up to you. Tomorrow it's girls' soccer. Wednesday. You like that? No. Well, I mean, did you like the description of that? I'm not saying you like the game of that. We've got more across coming at you.